I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna do something on my own because there's no company that exists that is, in my opinion, built for the future. This is George with Saber Real Estate Group. I was just following up with him about his building. In I'm sorry, who is this? My name George is Fitzgerald? My name is George Scalarinas. I'm with Saber Real Estate Group. I was just um, following up with him about his building and the commercial development. Could you do me a favor? Could you try him later? Hold on a second. It's going to be nice to meet you. Hey, sorry to bother you. My name's George Scalarinas with Saber Real Estate Group. I was driving by your development on earlier today, and I just wanted to see what your plans were there. If you have any tenants lined up for the first floor, we represent a ton of national tenants in Queens. That's not, that's, that's not my building. That's not your building. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. He hung up. But Ouch. I'm still trying to be nice to him. Called how I started in the business and, and my partner Ken uh, actually you know set me up initially you know I would drive uh, to a shopping center and I would park myself up in the distance facing the shopping center so I'll take an index card and I'll draw the shopping center on the index card and uh, basically you know label each tenant that's in the center today it's actually gotten a lot easier you could you could accomplish a lot more from your desk having said that for, for learning purposes, you know, it, it's extremely important in our business to get out on the road, uh, you know, touch it, feel it. And if I would have just went on the websites, you know, today, like a lot of younger people are, are able to do, or people who are looking for shortcuts, you know, will do, um, I wouldn't have retained the information, obviously, the same way that I did uh, by writing down and, and, you know, drawing a sketch of the website. So now, it's not building it's not his brother's building so clearly it's not the building so what do we do in the face of adversity right in the face of adversity <laughs> what do we do when my when my man Marco Lucci gets back and Russell Helbling we're gonna brainstorm and figure out how to get in front of these guys but if I was actually talking to a landlord they would have been giving me the information because I'm a nice kid I put my heart in this shit, man. Keys to success in real estate, green tea herbal lotion. Thank you for calling. You need smooth hands. Constantly shaking people's hands. And you need your face to be glowing all the time. We'll come back to him. But we have the other number teed up because it's all about productivity. This one should be interesting. Hi, Miss. Hi, this is George. We spoke uh, a couple of weeks ago about your building on. Yes. Do you have any retail space available? I'm working with a great tenant looking to lease retail on. And I saw that it looked like one of the spaces was vacant. Oh, it's the other owner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay, thank you. Have a good one. If anything comes up, I'll call you. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Have a great night. It's all about being nice to people. She doesn't have anything for me, but I'm not just going to hang up the phone and be like, I can't, maybe in the future she's going to have a vacancy, and then she's going to remember this nice little European kid who spoke very nice to her. It's like how to sell, how to lease real estate for dummies. Well. It's so easy George could do it. <laughs> The story of Joey Lobster. You want to tell it? You want me to? Joey, being a low man on the totem pole, gets the job to drive a tour. Uh, I was driving the tour. It was very eventful. Joe is told expressly, shut up. Don't open your mouth. Just do your driving. I was in the car when he was sitting all day, starving. Joey Lobster follows directions pretty well. 
at the end of a successful tour, it's quite common, you, you go out for dinner. And we got to a restaurant, like a Blue Water Grill, nice place. And we went to a steak place for dinner, and uh, unlike most who kind of check the menu and order within their reason. Waiter comes over and gives us the specials, and one of the specials is a lobster, and I'm really hungry. Joey Lobster, no. What does Joey Lobster order? Joey order. Joey Lobster orders the five pound lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Which shook up some of the Sabre staff on tour uh, and certainly killed their budget for the tour. Apparently it was like a couple hundred bucks. And, and no one else ordered the lobster. Just yeah, Joey. everybody else was ordering burgers <laughs> and like cheese puffs. What was that, like $40? 40 40 How about 120 what? Joey Lobster will forever go down <laughs> in the lores of real estate touring history Joey as Joey Lobster. Moral of the story is, if you're going to expense a meal on your boss's credit card, don't get the lobster. <laughs> I don't think he'll ever order a cheese sandwich on tour again. Well done, Lobster. <laughs> that is the story of Joey Lobster.